In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a fully automated content idea generator using N8N, Perplexity, and ChatGPT. That's it. And if you make content of any kind, short form, long form, blog posts, Twitter, X, whatever, you know that one of the hardest parts of this is coming up with these high performing ideas that are also relevant. This solves that. So with all that said, I'm going to stop yapping and actually show you the automation. But if you get any value out of this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment and let me know what you'd want to see next. Let's get into it. All right. So like I said, this is a very simple automation that you can set up in probably 15, 20 minutes. Um, so what happens here is that every day at 8 a.m., before I even get out of bed, this triggers in N8N uh, as it's active. So what this trigger does is it will send that trigger to the first perplexity node right here. So this first node grabs me five AI news articles from the internet, whether it be Google or Twitter or anywhere else. Um, we're using perplexity for this because I find that is it's the best for you know searching the internet and finding all these relevant topics. So this a will send a call to the API. <clears throat> the API will target perplexity. Perplexity will do that search, give it back to me in N8N, and then this code node here parses that and sends it to this merge node. So if you're new to N8N, you're probably a little confused as to what all of these lines mean. So once this code node gets done parsing that content, it will send it to the merge node and just store it there until the last one is, is finished here. So once that one is done, it will then use this other line here to send to the next node. So as you can see, I have five separate subtopics that I want news about every single day. So I have AI news, just general AI news. AI tools news. So this is specifically targeting new tools that came out, <coughs> excuse me, or updates or anything like that. Then I have it a little bit more targeted towards AI as it relates to content creation and social media. Then I have general sports news and then interesting, more lesser known sports news that have to do with players or the organization or fan interactions or anything like that. So that's how that works. So as each of those calls happen, like I said, they're going to be sent to this merge node. And then once they're sent to the merge node, it will then go on to the next one. And then the merge won't fully complete until the final one is done. Once the final API call is done, it will send it to the merge node. The merge node will execute and put it into a code node where it puts it all into one long string. Not very optimal, but OpenAI thankfully knows how to manage this. From there, we'll send all the outputs from Perplexity to OpenAI, and then OpenAI will craft a newsletter in HTML, send it to Gmail, and have it send me an automated newsletter every single morning with, what is this, I think, 25 new content ideas for me with relevant news. And you can set this to whatever schedule you want. I have it at one time a day before I even get out of bed, just because that way when I'm ready to work, I have it on my desk and, and ready to go for me. But if you want to do it two times a day, you can do it three times a day. Honestly, totally up to you. Now, as for the actual implementation, it is so comically easy you can't mess it up so let's get into that and i think the easiest thing for us to do here is kind of reverse engineer what i have going here so what we'll do is we'll set up a trigger then we'll set up an http request then a code node merge code open ai and then gmail and we'll kind of go from there okay all right so the first thing we're going to do is add a first step and over here we'll go on schedule and then over on the left hand side you can trigger it to whatever you want you could have this hypothetically run every second I would not do that. Your API costs would be through the roof. So we're just going to go days here. One day between triggers. We're going to trigger this at, uh, I have it at eight, but you can put it at seven, depending on when you get up again, totally up to you. And then we'll leave that. So the next thing we'll do is we will set up an H T T P request. Then obviously this, if you're not familiar with N8N or any code or anything will look very complex to you. So what we'll do here, is we will go to perplexity and then we'll scroll all the way down to our account and we will go to my account from my account you want to go to api group and on the bottom you'll see documentation this is what you want to click so once you're on documentation you'll come up to a page that looks like this and you'll hit quick start and go down 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 none of that really matters but what you want right here is an example api call with the curl and python <clears throat> so once you get to, once you get to curl Press this copy button here, go back to your N8N workflow. And then at the top here, you'll see an import curl button. So you press import curl and then just command V that in 
and import. Once this gets imported, this is where things get a little complex and you should definitely be paying attention at this point. So right here, you will see that the name and authorization are there. This is pretty much just your API key. So it says bearer and then API key in brackets, um, curly brackets rather. So you wanna delete this API key um, where it says the placeholder API key. So then what you'll do is go back to perplexity and you will go to your API key section. Now I am not going to show you my API key, obviously, um, this will be 100% up to you. This is very cheap to run, just generate a J API key and then paste it into this, uh, this value here right after it says bearer. You have to keep the word bearer in there. And then from there, we can move on to our actual prompt that we're gonna be sending to Perplexity. So for this, we're gonna be using Sonar Pro as the model and the system prompt will be you know, super basic, super generic, be precise and concise. You can also change this to whatever else you want. I find this gives you the best output and it's also the placeholder that they have in the, the curl. Now right here is the prompt that you want to edit where it says content, how many stars are there in our galaxy that will be the placeholder that they have once you import that curl. And the prompt you can put in can be super simple here. So I'm just going to copy and paste the one I have for my other one. And it says, find me five new, interesting and relevant stories related to artificial intelligence from today or yesterday, label them one through five. Perplexity is very smart with dates, which is fortunate. So it will pull content from today, uh, May 7th or May 6th in my case. Now what we're gonna do is just test this step to make sure the API call is working properly and we get a solid output with this. And there we go, Perplexity just gave us the output right now. It is in JSON. You don't have to worry about the formatting. We will figure this out later. So then what we're gonna do from here is just add all of the other nodes that we need to add just to get this all set up and thought out. So we'll add a code node right here. We can leave that blank for the moment. We'll put it over here. Then we will add a merge node. This can get a little tricky. And then we'll add another code node right here, code node here. And then an open AI node, if I can get there, open AI. And for the open AI node, we're gonna do message a model. You can leave that blank. Let me just reformat all this stuff real quick. Leave that blank. And then we will finally do a Gmail node. And then we'll go down to send a message. All right, so now that that's all set up, that is what our basic workflow is gonna like, we look like. We already know that these two work, so that is good to go. Then we just have to do the rest and we're ready to roll. So now what we'll do is we will connect this HTTP request to the code node. We'll double click on the code node select all in command V. This is 15 lines of code. I will put this into the description for you just to copy and paste, make it easy for you. <clears throat> but essentially what this is going to do is better parse your content to have its uh, text output as well as, as well as the citations that they gave you. It's just easier to map this when you put it into the merge node and then want to feed it to OpenAI. So now as I'm doing this, I realize that this merge and code node are pretty redundant and you actually don't need them if you're only doing one HTTP request. But if you're doing two, that's when you would need these two lines of code. So we will just do two. So what we'll do is we'll copy these, we will paste them and put them right below the originals. So if you're doing two, you want to send this original code node to input number one, and then you want to connect that code node back to this HTTP request. Now, obviously we don't want to run the same search twice. So what we can do is we already have this HTTP, HTTP request copied and pasted. So it says, find me five new interesting and relevant stories related to artificial intelligence. I can say uh, content creation from today or yesterday, label them one through five. So now we can test this workflow and see what it comes up with. So again, it's gonna run that HTTP request. Uh, probably could have pinned that data, um, but it's gonna do that again, send it to the code node, send that to the merge node, then it will go on to the second one with the first node already saved in that merge. All right, so that executed successfully, then we'll connect that code node up here to the merge, and then we will click on the merge. Now for the mode of the merge, there are a lot of options that you can pick. We're just gonna do a pen for this one, but this is where it gets pretty important, the number of inputs. So obviously on this one, I only have two inputs. So you, but you basically just need to think about how many HTTP requests are you sending? In this case, we're only sending two, but if you were to have three or four HTTP requests, you can just change this number to four and then connect those code nodes over to the inputs. But since we only have two, we're gonna switch it back to two 
and then just test this step. So then you'll see the raw JSON just like this. And again, we need to parse this. So what we'll do in this case is again, connect this to the next code node, come over here, select all, and then paste this one in here. This is 17 lines of code, and it's basically just going to combine these citations as well as the content. So we'll test this step and see what it comes up with. And there we go, already done. It is very important that you do this and follow this step-by-step step because when you try to map this in the OpenAI node, OpenAI will be getting a lot of inputs. You want it all in one long string and it will figure it out from there. So if you think about it, up until this point, we have all of the scraping of all the news articles and relevant information done. All we have to do is just turn this into our daily newsletter. And that is where this OpenAI node comes into play. So we're gonna click on our OpenAI node and you'll see all of this information right here. It may look a little daunting, it's really not. Once you start to understand this stuff, it is very simple. But what we'll do is we'll go to OpenAI account. You will have to connect this with your OpenAI account, put your API key in and all of that good stuff. I already did it, um, it's fairly simple to do. So uh, you, you will figure that out, it's very simple to do. The resource will be text, the operation will be message model, and then from the model, we're gonna pick GPT-4 which is the best for creative writing. And then from here, we can input our prompts. So we're gonna use a system prompt for this top one. Then we will add a message and put it as a user prompt. Now for the system prompt, we are going to copy and paste in this long prompt that I cooked up that seems to work very good. So for this prompt, there's gonna be some things that you have to change for this. So for this one, I named it Evan's Daily Paper. And I said, you turn sets of raw AI content creation and sports related summaries into a clean, engaging newsletter for founders, builders, and researchers. So for example, for you, you'd probably wanna change this to your name or your company. And then you'd also wanna change the information that you're putting into there. So I have, you know, AI, sports, content creation. Right now I only have AI and content creation. So I will remove sports and keep that there. Your tone is smart, concise, and editorial, not fluffy or overhyped. Write like a best friend talking to a 25 year old friend and humor when applicable. Reorganize all these inputs into a digestible structure and break the newsletter into five sections. This was my original prompt. We only have two now. So we'll put two as AI, new, AI news and then we'll go to content news and then we can delete these other two here newsletter format title and intro group sections each story bold headline one to two sentence summary an angle we can take to turn this news into short form content for social media pages a citation to that story and then ending with a witty outro that's just some flair i added there you can do whatever you want include all news given to you in the combined content and then right here is the pretty important part where we're going to format this output as HTML so we can just toss it into our email and then it's nice and structured when we go and read it at 7 or 8 a.m. Uh, the next day. Your tone is smart, conversational, and concise like morning brew for the AI and content creation world and the email structure should look like this. Output valid HTML only, no code fences, no explanation. Again, it is very important that you have this HTML stuff in here because if you don't, your email will look terrible every single morning. And I'm not gonna make you write all of that down. I will also put that in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Then for the user prompt, we're gonna put in, here's a large batch of news blurbs and citations, group and summarize them into a clean newsletter. Then we will put a colon and move to the next line. And then what we'll do is come over here to this code and drag and drop this combined content into there. And then what we'll do is we'll come back over to the combined citations and also, oh, I need to scroll down. So I'm gonna pop this out. Then to the combined citations and then just pop this right in there as well. Make them on different lines, okay. Perfect, there we go. Now we are ready to test this step. So we will go test this step. It'll send a request to our OpenAI API and it will come back with our newsletter. All right, so it looks like that completed. It is now green. And as you can see here, it says uh, message, role, content. And this is our daily newsletter that we're going to copy and paste that into Gmail and have it send it to us every single morning. So at this point, your Gmail node is probably red. So what you do is double click on that. You will have to sign into your Gmail for this to work properly. Again, it is very simple. It's literally just signing in to Gmail. You can't mess it up. The resource will be message, the operation will be send. And we wanna send this to my business account business at the contentlabs.io. And for the subject, you can put anything. I put your daily newsletter 
buddy. The email type will be HTML. And from here, all you have to do is one more thing, and that's come over here to your JSON, pick content, and just drag and drop it into the message box here. And as you can see, you'll have a result showing what your email will look like. Then all you have to do is just test this step, and then it will be sending. So we'll take a minute to do, then go to your email, and watch your email pop up. And there you have it, your newsletter was sent directly to your inbox without you lifting a finger. There's a headline, a sub headline, and then two different sections for all the news that we want. And along with that, every single news story has a source attached to it, so you can click on it and get more information if you really want to do a video idea about that, or if you just wanna learn more about it. So obviously this is very bare bones at the moment, you can spruce this up, but I found for me this is a Super easy thing to do to get my day started, get the ball rolling with my content ideas for the day, and it's really helped a lot. And if you wanna customize the output even more, make it more tailored to you or your niche, all you have to do is just go back to this open AI model and change the prompt to be more like you or more like what you want. Um, same thing kind of applies with the HTTP request to perplexity. If you want different outputs, that's where you go and you'll change it. So there you have it. There's how to create your very own newsletter in 20 minutes or less. It is super simple, super easy, and I promise this will help you a lot. I've spent the last eight months of my life building AI systems, workflows, and automation just for content creation to make my life easier and get me millions of views practically on autopilot. And these same AI systems help one of our clients gain over 64,000 followers in just over three months, as well as blowing up her training app and getting her more leads than she could ever imagine. So if you're interested in that, there's a link to that at the top of the description. So click that, check it out, and book a call if you're interested. But if you got any value out of this video, please again, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know what you'd wanna see next, and I'll catch you in the next one.